Any Christian who doesn't tithe will never see heaven. It's not possible. You can't. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Full stop. Now, there is a terrible doctrine that goes around in Nigeria that you give your tithe to your man of God or to your spiritual father. That's, those are thieves. Those spiritual fathers that collect your tithe are thieves. Did you hear me? If you call me your spiritual father, this month's salary is your first fruit of the year. It is for me, not for church. It's for the, if, if, it is for this altar. It is for this oracle. Are you hearing me? It is for this vessel, this one God has prepared. It is for my welfare. If you honor me with the, the first fruit of your first year, hmm. at the middle of this year, if you don't testify, come back, I'll give back to you. You give your tithe and offering to any man of God, no matter who the man of God is. You, uh, you just gave him an offering, you didn't tithe. And that man of God is a thief. So you cannot bring your tithe to me. I will not even collect it. A man that collected tithe from you over the years and built that kind of church with air condition. He bought BPP cars for himself and for his wife. He owns some houses around the young, which I'm aware of. He has properties. He has houses in the village. He has developed himself. He woke up one day and said that tithe is a sin. People should not pay tithe. Tithe is fraud. And he's preaching inside a church that he built with tithe. And you are still here. You cannot stand up to tell him, sir. You said that tithe is fraud. Let us sell this church that we built with tithe and offering. And restart afresh. You are there. Every time he's preaching, he says, mm, yes. Mm. As if you are hearing something, you are a fool. You are what? Yes, they are fools. And both you say they are fools. Somebody collected tithe from you for many, many years. The Jeep is driving. The Jeep, the wife is driving. The houses they have in Kaduna, in Uyo, and everywhere are tight and offering. And he came to tell you that tithe is fraud. And you cannot tell him to sell those things and refund your money back. You are still there. Because he found out that his message has finished. And he came up with another plan. Heresies. And he started attacking men of God. Hello, guys. Is there, if there is one controversial thing in Nigeria right now, is the so-called tithe and offerings because um, preachers in Nigeria have taken the people for a fool. They have they they have seen the people as a fool, as a milking cow, where they can go and milk them for their own benefit. In fact, they have become too greedy, too selfish to a point that you cannot even begin to imagine if they are really preaching the gospel of the Lord or they are just out there to 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 to, to steal from the people. This is gotten too far, and I believe that it's high time that, that we start talking about these things. Okay, it's high time that we understand that people cannot be taken for a fool. You cannot keep on taking people for a ride. Now I understand that Dr. Ebe Damina might not be a saint, like I have always said, nobody is a saint. But sometimes you hear people make an argument, and then you'll be like, mm, "Okay, okay, well." I identify with what this person is saying because as a rational being, I have processed it and I have come to realize that this person is right. So I want us to watch this video by Dr. Abel Daminan and how he explained about the whole issue of tithing and offering. Because we've had people say that if you don't tithe, you won't go to heaven. If you don't tithe, you are not a, a, a real Christian. Tithe this, tithe that. Sometimes I wonder if those people seeing all this actually consider the, 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 the financial status of their members. Because if you are a daddy, if you are a real man of God, you will, you will look at your children, you will look at the people that worship in your church, you will look at your, your members and be like, these people are struggling. Things are very difficult. Life is so, so hard. Let's not be collecting all what these people are making. That's what you, that's what you would think. That's what a rational person would do. But the men of God are just out there looking out for themselves. The men of God are just out there just to collect as much as they can collect from the members to support their luxurious lifestyle. So, let's watch the video. These tight mongers can go to any extent. Even if they have to burn the Bible, they will burn it so that nobody will touch their tight. But too late for them. People's eyes are opening all over the world. <laughs> Woo! in my lifetime if you don't preach Christ you'll be afraid of the pulpit is it already happening 
a preacher that Jesus, Pastor Prince, you don't understand, that Jesus did not pay tight. That's why he died young. These people are, they are not afraid of. They are not even born again. To cast as passion on Christ for mammon. Now so the tight disturb you from village witchcraft reach. I heard of another one who said, Job didn't pay tight, that's why he suffered. So when God turned his captivity, was it because he paid tight? Because if it is because he didn't pay tight, he suffered, then the turning should have been by tight. Eh? These are unschooled doctrines. Infant, infant understanding of the Bible. Tight. Job said, the things I fear have greatly come upon me. Fear opened the door to Satan. And in chapter 42, Job said, don't take me serious. So everything I said about God from chapter 1 to 42 is based on rumor. It is now my eye can see God. It is now I understand God. And the captivity turned around. That Jesus didn't pay tight. So he died young. Did he come to earth to live long? He came to die. Okay, who is Jesus paying tight to? They are struggling to see what they can do to hold back that tight thing. The thing is gone. It's gone. You pay for nothing. Jesus paid it all. That's why in the kingdom we are not paying. We give generously as responsible sons and daughters of God to make sure our father's mission is carried out on the earth. Somebody who understand that shout a powerful amen. amen. You know the dangerous money materialistic message has totally misrepresented God. Preachers have created a man initiative to God's power. Preachers have lied. We do not give to receive. We have received so we give. God is the giver. We are the receivers. When we know this, we will quit bowing at the altar of lies. So $60. Psalm 60. 61 blessings. Fraud. And it's interesting that this particular God is American. He loves dollars a lot. It's always dollars. As believers, we will gladly give what he has given us. A man can receive nothing except it be given. He has given, we receive. And because we have received from him, we have learned to give from him. We now give generously to support the work of the kingdom. And that's true. That's true. You know, um, say anything you want to say about Catholicism. Right, say anything on the say about that. But if there's one thing I gathered from my childhood days as a, a follower of the Catholic faith was that they never preach prosperity. Anyone can fact me about this, I might be wrong, but I never heard them preaching about prosperity. I never heard them preaching about tithing. They had harvest and giving, yes, they had. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm like uh, giving money on Sunday, daily service, yes. But it was never like, we have to tie to you, you have to give this percentage of your, of your monthly wages or yearly wages and stuff like that. There was never such a thing like that, to the best of my knowledge. There was never such a thing as that. The Catholic were focused on preaching salvation. And I know they had their own terrible things, like, in, uh, they, they did terrible things. I understand that. But with today's Christianity, with these modern days born against churches, all they talk about is prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. And if your only goal of going to church is to become a rich person, then I'm sorry to disappoint you. You are wrong. You are in the wrong place. If you want to become rich and successful, 
build skills, start a business, do something that will bring in income. You have to do something of financial uh, and economic value to people. When you do something that people value, when you do something that create value for other people, you are going to be very, very successful because people are going to shower you with money. That is the only way you can become rich. Like Dr. Eber will tell you, the richest people in the world do not care about religion. They have multiple businesses and companies. If you go to Nigeria, you meet like Aliko Dangote. He has a lot of factories here and there. He is a, he is a business person. And he has a lot of money. Go to the Western world. You, all the Jeff Bezos, all the Bill Gates, all the uh, uh, Mike Zuckerberg, all the rich people in the world really do not care about religion. They are not Christians. And even if they are Christians, that's not what is giving them money. It's not because they fast and pray. That's, what they, that's why they got rich. No, that's not it. It's because they were smart to create value for other people. They were smart to come up with ideas that people use daily. And in return, they got so much money from people. Going to church, sowing seed in the house of the Lord, giving your heart and money to, to crook preachers, to scam preachers, will never help you become successful. You must understand that. And I get the frustration, you know, I, I understand it. I know there are many people who do not know any better. They are those past and mass who do not know any better. And they have been deceived by men of God. That is true. That is true. Men of God have promised them everything. You know, politicians have failed them. The states have disenfranchised them. They, they, are, they felt being abandoned by people. People who were supposed to take care of them. And so they have turned to religion to kind of like get a solution to their problems. That is very understandable. And that is why the men of God are taking them for a fool. That is just it. So if you ever thought that your tithe and your offering was what was going to make you become successful, my brothers and sisters, sorry. I am so sorry you have been misled. If you want to become successful, the money you give to church, the tithe and offering that you give to church, invest it. Start a small business. Use that money to buy tomatoes and pepper and sell in the market. You will become rich because from selling the tomato and pepper, you will make profit. If you want to become successful, use the tithe and offering to sell pure water, to buy Gary and sell, to even uh, um, rent a farm, buy seed and plant on that farm. And at the end of the year, you are going to harvest the produce and then sell and then make money. That is how you become successful. If you want to become successful, the money you give for Titan Office, put it together, go to school, acquire knowledge, build skills. Pay someone to become your mentor. Let them educate you on how to build wealth. Not the church. Not the church. The church will never, ever make you successful. Never, ever. So I hope Dr. Ebel is as clear as he can be. But you guys out there, after hearing what Dr. Abel and other speakers have said about tithing and offering. What is your take? Do you still believe that these crook preachers are speaking the truth? I call them crooks because I know they know the truth, but they decided to tell us what is in the truth. I believe they know what they are saying, but the only reason why they say what they say is because they understand that that is what people want to hear, and so they are deceiving the people. They are scamming the people. They are nothing short of scammers. And that's why I call them crooks. It's my own opinion. But share your own with us in the comment section below. We would like to hear what you think. And also, please, do us a favor. Like this video. Share it. Leave us a comment below. 
and also subscribe to this channel because that helps us a lot. We shall forever be grateful to you.